Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Carolyn if you're new here and in today's video I wanted to talk about five things that I've learned after graduating college. No one really gives you advice on what to expect after graduating college. I feel like you're on your own like in college or in school in general everything is just so structured like you have choices and you kind of know like which direction you need to go in in order to graduate what classes to take versus I feel like in the real world you're kind of like stuck on your own and figuring out things yourself. So I thought I'd make this video because I thought it'd be helpful for people who recently graduated from college and might want some insight on just what happens like the couple years after graduating college. So I think the first thing that I have to talk about is that keeping up with your friends is tough. I experienced the same thing in college to be honest like keeping up with people from high school was really tough. I used to message like a ton of people from high school that I was like I'm gonna be their friend forever and like I'm gonna keep in touch with them and like keep up with them and everything. I just realized like how much effort it takes to keep in touch with someone when you aren't like close to them in proximity because a lot of people I realize kind of become your friend because it's convenient. You have the same classes, you're in the same major, maybe you're in the same sport but like after college like when you're not close to your college friends anymore it really goes to show like who's going to be that friend for you at the end of the day that's willing to make the effort, that's willing to reach out to you and catch up with you every once in a while. It's unfortunate that you aren't going to be close friends with all of your college friends but I think what's the most important part is just being on good terms with them so that way if you ever do need to reach out to them you're able to like reach out and it's like you know not awkward you can always catch up with them again. The second thing that I've learned after graduating college is that it's actually really difficult to make friends after college. <laughs> I feel like because college is such a new environment and like you know when you live in like the dorms or when you join clubs or join a sport or whatnot you're able to meet people very easily. Like you can meet people in classes, in study sections, at the library and so I realized that once you graduate college it's so difficult to meet new people like you can still meet people online and like network and whatnot but I feel like it's not the same like sometimes it might come off like not as genuine or like that you're looking to them for something I would say that you can still make friends online like you can go to Facebook groups you can network with people on LinkedIn you can go on meetup.com you can meet people through discord slack groups but it just it's like a lot harder to meet people online I would say and keep up a friendship online than meet people in person. I personally have tried to meet some people in this Facebook group that I was in and like to keep up with them and like constantly ask about them it's just kind of weird like you don't really know what to ask or how to keep this conversation going which is why I'm like I feel like online dating must be such a difficult thing to do it's unfortunate so if you are in college right now I would highly recommend to make a lot of friends join a bunch of clubs try everything and try and keep in touch with those people after college because it's it's gonna be really hard once you graduate the third thing that I've learned after graduating college is that job hunting sucks it's literally the worst thing ever I'm sorry I'm sorry if you're a recruiter you know but job hunting is like so annoying like okay so you update your resume you send in a bunch of applications and then there's like those companies that are always like could you fill in your information of like your name your previous experience like your GPA whatever and they ask you to fill in all those mandatory fields when I'm like it's already on your resume like why would you ask for that a second time it's so annoying you send in so many applications and you end up just getting lots of like automated rejections and you don't get callbacks I just hate the process in general I think before graduating college I would highly recommend doing the job hunt to make sure that you have a job lined up after you graduate but I would also highly recommend that you network with people on LinkedIn and actually create and foster good relationships with people in companies or job titles that you're interested in so like message people reach out to them ask them to take a look at your resume but don't like message people and just ask them straight up for a referral because that's just like awkward how would you feel if someone just came up to you and was like hi I don't really know you but um could you refer me to this company that you're working at no one would want that don't don't do that to anyone <laughs> But like message them, ask them what their roles and responsibilities are, ask them what they do on a day-to-day -day basis and like see if that's actually something that you want to pursue. I think something that is also a big misconception is that just because something is like a dream company or a dream job doesn't mean that it's always going to be like amazing. But moving on to the fourth thing that I've learned after graduating college is how to choose your insurance. I remember when I first started working full-time I was like super confused on what insurance to choose. Typically companies offer full health, dental and vision insurance and I used to be on my parents health insurance which was Kaiser and I seriously didn't know that Kaiser had its own insurance so if you switch off of Kaiser like you have to get different 
insurance but luckily you can stay on your parents insurance until you're 26 but if you're interested in hopping off earlier then definitely do some research on the two different types of insurance which is HMO or PPO HMO is the cheaper insurance so it has lower monthly premiums and lower out-of-pocket costs but it doesn't offer as much flexibility as the PPO plan PPO has higher monthly premiums it offers you more flexibility so that you can use providers that are in network as well as out of network without needing a referral from your PCP or your primary care physician. I would highly recommend just doing a bunch of research on this to make sure that you have the plan that's right for you because for me I'm like a young healthy active person so I don't really go to the doctor very much. I'm on the HMO plan because I don't want to have to pay high monthly premiums every month and I take less out of my paycheck every pay period. You won't be able to change it for a year until the special enrollment period comes around. I would say that dental insurance is also similar so it's HMO or PPO same thing with the whole flexibility thing and then vision insurance. I've only seen companies offer one type of vision insurance if I'm incorrect, let me know in the comments below because I've only seen one type. I wish America was just a place that gave universal healthcare because I think healthcare is a basic human right. I mean, we already pay so much in taxes, so it's like, where is this money even going, you know? So the last thing I've learned after graduating college is that commuting sucks. It can be so brutal to commute. I'm based in the Bay Area and I might not have it as bad as people in Southern California, but my first job I was opposite traffic luckily so my commute was only 25 to 30 minutes one way. But then I switched jobs to my second job and it was like an hour, hour 15 one way and it was literally just brutal to think that I was spending two to three hours a day just commuting and also on the way back home I would take this bridge and if there was an accident on the bridge like it's game over like I'm just I'm just not going home at that point like it would just be so bad but currently I'm working from home so it's really nice that I don't have to commute anymore but I definitely do miss seeing people in the office so I'm really excited to get back into the office when I can but I also just don't want to drive that commute anymore so hopefully this video wasn't too long if you liked it please give it a like and leave a comment down below and let me know if this was helpful at all and subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell notification if you want to get notified of my future videos. All right. Bye guys.